was listening to Clark Howard. He's a consumer guy, radio dude. You gotta check out his show, Clark Howard Show. Check him out online. He mentioned something about motorcycles and accidents uh, per mile. He said it was kind of shocking. So I figured I better stay here and uh, take a listen. Welcome to the Clark Howard Show. My job to serve you each and every day so you can save more, spend less, and avoid getting ripped off. We've been on a great trend line in the United States for years and years and years with the number of people dying on our roads steadily declining because of improvements in road design, improvements in safety features and vehicles that if you're in an accident are likely to save your life rather than the past where you would have died. And for miles traveled, things have virtually never been safer on the roads. We're now in an era where the newest part of safety is vehicles that since you're not looking, you're going to run into a car in front of you, they automatically start braking. Adaptive cruise control is the most common name for it. Vehicles that since you're going to, you're swaying out of your lane, you're going to hit somebody to the left or right, lane departure systems. One thing after another that are safety improvements that prevent an accident from happening in the first place, or if it does happen, hopefully limiting the the amount of injury you might suffer and preventing death. Fantastic. With one big exception, motorcycles. Motorcycles account for a tiny percent, perhaps a fraction of 1% of miles traveled, but motorcycles represent 15% of all fatalities on the road. You don't have the protection, obviously. If somebody runs into you, you don't have that sheet metal around you. You have the elements or the pavement that you come into contact with. So it's by nature going to be more dangerous. But at night, people don't seem to see motorcycles. I don't know, motorcycle riders will tell me they don't see them during the day either. And a guy named John Miller, who's a Marine Corps veteran, has developed a special windshield for motorcycles that lights up at night. The thing is just an idea at this point because Miller has turned down all investors because everybody who wants to invest in it wants to build the devices overseas. He wants it built in the United States. Investors say they can't economically make the product. Should he just say okay and make it overseas to get this safety device on the road? Or is he right to say make it American, buy American? Damn, Clark. Uh, you know what? You're always about saving money. And in the meantime, when I ride at night, I make sure that I have reflective uh, gear. It's just a messenger bag with a giant chunk of reflective material. I've got reflective tape on my helmets, on my bikes, and I use brake light modulators that flash when I hit the brakes. Honest.